What's up guys, Final Fantasy 7 here, and welcome to another Would You Rather, because it seems like everybody really, really loved <laughs> watching this, and watching like me and my sister and, and my brother-in-law, you know, play this game, and it was so much fun, I, I really enjoyed it, and I've been asked by multiple people to actually play it again, so I said, yeah, why not, go ahead and just pull it up again and play a little bit more again, so, um, well, let's just get to it. Would you rather have uncontrollable ear hair or have uncontrollable nose hair? Let's see here. Well, either way, it's going to be jumping out of my ears and my news. So which one actually would be worse? Hmm. I guess it's 50-50 on this point. Um, ear hair... Hmm. I don't know. I guess nose for me. Ah, oh, most people want an ear. Oh. Do I actually shave it? Um, the top one actually says girls can cover it with their hair, boys can fix the nose hair the nose hair problem with a mustache, kinda. Why can't a guy cover it with their hair? As it happens, I have long hair and a mustache. All right, well it works. <laughs> have a mustache and have long hair. All right, well, next one. Would you rather be born with red hair or have a hundred dollars stolen from you? Um, I don't mind actually being gingers. That makes, uh, I, there's a lot of people, and you know, gingers actually get more shit. Go away. Being born with red hair isn't that bad, okay? There's some actresses that I find extraordinarily attractive that actually have red hair. May not be natural head of hair, but same time. I do like red hair, and a lot of people actually do. So, like, uh, first one, gingers don't have soul. You know what? <laughs> Screw you all. Red hair is attractive, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm not saying shit. Never mind. Next one. <laughs> if you can kill either character in Harry Potter, would you rather kill Voldemort or kill Harry Potter? I'll kill Voldemort. Sorry. Love Harry. Harry was cool as shit. Harry can get really whiny sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? He was a kid. That's the reason why. Would you rather listen to the Macarena for four hours straight or listen to Mama number five for four hours straight? I'm gonna have to go with Mama number five. Mostly because it's not the same thing over and over and over again. Well, it is, but at the same time, there's, there's more... Oh. Alright, well, here, in, in between the two... Uh, I... I'm gonna go with my gut on this one, Mama Nerf Five, because it's 50-50, see? You can't really say exactly which one's which, just because, like, you don't know. Because one... Oh, yeah, it's that, that song. Like, it's just... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, would you rather be Australian or be American? Hmm. To be honest, I would have to go with. Hmm. I like being American, just because I'm born here. But I like. I wouldn't mind being Australian just because of the, the accent. Something about that accent. I just. I. Uh, I love. I, I would love to have an accent, that'd be cool, so, yeah, let's try 50-50, see, like, back and forth, like, being, like, like most people actually would see it, like, uh, point out the, oh, I don't know, you know, the political views, or the freedoms of what we actually have, like, the things that we can do that, that other countries can't do, but, like, I, <laughs> guess, like, for me, along the lines of it, would just be more, like, would I like to actually be, have an American accent, or would I like to have an Australian accent? So, eh, either or. Like I'm like, <laughs> I think I'm on the fence on that one too because, you know, like I I like the way my voice turned out, but I think it'd be kind of cool to actually have a little bit of uh, Australian accent as well. Kind of cool. Would you rather be locked in a New York City studio apartment with 400 pugs for a year? Ooh. Or be forced to round up all the pugs in the U.S. and put them on a boat bound for North Korea. What a 
pugs ever do to you guys? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'd rather actually be locked in a New York City studio apartment with 400 bugs for a year. Just because that seems <laughs> cruel. I love pugs. And I have a pug. I have a small pug. His name's Rico. He's awesome. But yeah. I freaking love pugs. Oh, the first comment. I love pugs. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Whoever <laughs> chose one of Pugs are not bad. They're adorable. And I love my little guy. So shut up. <laughs> oh, would you rather have a like have a fine car or have a one terabyte per second internet connection? Hmm. That would be nice. And that would be fast. However, just because your computer and your internet is that fast doesn't mean everybody else's is. So I'm going to take flying car because I can get anywhere I want to and not have to worry about congestion. I would have some restrictions for damn sure. I know that for a fact because I know the government would be all over me and, and especially with my job. It's like, I'm sorry. That's our job. You got, you can't fly around here. There's certain air spaces you can't do that. <laughs> but I would be a flying car because that'd be cool as shit. It would help out so much. Oh, the first one. With internet speeds that fast, you could download a car. No. You can't. <laughs> if you traveled to England recently, would you rather attend the Royal Wedding or attend the Olympic Games? <sighs> I'm saying Olympic Games. No events to the Royal Wedding, like that might be a hoot and holler like to actually see it. But like I, I wouldn't be able to see it very well anyway. I couldn't really go in and actually see a lot. And I probably see a lot more coverage on TV um much easier anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and see the Olympic Games. Just to say that I was actually there. That'd be cool as shit. Alright, next one. Would you rather magically flip genders every year or be forced? To move and start fresh every year. That would suck. I'm doing this. Thank you. I don't know. Like, the thing is, like, you know, everybody keeps on giving, you know, the, the opposite gender of, like, a bad rap. Like, you know, girls give, like, guys shit and guys give girls shit. But I think, I think we all actually could spend a year in the opposite sex's, um, I guess, body for, like, a solid year that we would understand like what the struggles is for for each each sex not just the girl's sex not just the guy's sex you would see what struggles you would actually have to deal with so i would go with the magical flip genders for in, like every single year so there you go would you rather have a lightsaber or have a helper monkey uh lightsaber yeah lightsaber no offense to monkeys <laughs> they are adorable though eh. To be honest, if I actually were to have, like, between the two of them, I would like to actually have the lightsaber more than anything, just because it would be helpful from time to time. <laughs> um, like, I can I can take care of a few more things. I can cut up a few things around here. I can... Oh, man. That'd be fun. Ah, oh, that'd be so much fun. I think that's the thing. Like, most people actually would think about, like, cutting things up like crazy, but I don't know. <laughs> I think of things that I wouldn't have to worry about taking to the dump. <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about doing this or that and the other thing. It'd be easier for me. <laughs> like, it's more of a destructive tool that I can actually... Alright. Like, I, I could just see my brother-in-law is like, oh, Can I borrow your lightsaber for a little while? I gotta take down this wall. <laughs> Alright, next, next question. Would you rather be close with only one person and only see them on Sundays? Or know many people and see them every day? but not be particularly close with any. Hmm. Close with only one person, and only see them on Sundays. You'd appreciate that visit every single Sunday. I mean, you can actually have friends. Close with only one person. That's true, it only says, <sighs> yeah, that kind of bothers me. Uh, know many people and see them every day, but not be particularly close with any of them. That's the internet. This is going online and actually meeting like a shit ton of people and never really really close to any of them. You can say they're friends. But if you're not very, very close, why would you? I I would value that that person. 
of its seriously value of that one person. So I'll click on this one. Yeah, yeah, see? Like, I'm not the only one. <laughs> I just go with that. All right, next one. <laughs> if there is no risk of injury, thank you for putting that out there, would you rather hug a panda or hug a polar bear? Hmm. Um, they're both bears, regardless. Um, if there's no risk of injury. Well, I'd have to go with hugging a polar bear. Yeah. Everybody wants to hug a panda. Like, you know, like, <laughs> I, I have no, yeah, I have no frame of reference on this one, honestly. The only thing I can think of is, like, you know, South Park's like, that makes me a sad panda. And I don't really care. Oh, like, no offense to pandas, just like, I think polar bears are kind of a little cooler in my book. But, oh, oh God. Oh, that was cheesy as shit. I'm going to the next one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you rather be a slave in the pre-Civil War South or be a slave in ancient Egypt? I don't like this one, but I'll answer it regardless. Well, um, I don't know if this is the truth or not, but I was told that in ancient Egypt that their slaves were actually treated quite well, so I'm gonna go with that one. I don't like this one. I just don't. Like, like just, just because, like, me and black guy, like, it just, it just, no. <laughs> no. I, like, in this, uh, the first one says, like, they had it easy by comparison. See, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, I, like, if I don't know enough about my, about my history, I do apologize about that, and I wish I did know, like, more about that, but I, I just don't. As I said, I don't know um, a lot about my history, but I, I don't know. The only thing I actually heard that the the ancient Egyptian slaves were not treated as poorly. So, if I'm wrong, I apologize. But <laughs> go easy on me. I just don't know. I'm sorry. All right, next one. Would you rather be awake during spine surgery and hear the bones crunching, or be awake? when they twisted an extremely broken arm back into place. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Just because I don't ever want to be awake or just have a spine surgery in the first place because that means like nothing else could have actually happened. Like I couldn't actually fix it on my own. And that's just gut-wrenching to me. Had a back injury and didn't have to get surgery for it, but if I did, God, the invasive surgery on the spine is like extraordinarily risky. Uh, no, I'll, I'll go with broken arm. Like I can, ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you rather be an explorer of the Amazon jungle or the deep sea in the submarine? Hmm. I like the deep sea, which is cool. And some talk of the cool shit too. <sighs> Either way, that we're actually searching, like searching, uh, searching for something that no one has ever seen before. I think deep sea and submarine. It's 50-50. Um, this is a little bit more weighted in that way, but I think it would be more interesting to see what was uh, what down in our depths. There's. Yeah, we haven't actually tapped into like we only like like search like 20 or 30 percent of our ocean bottom so i think it'd be interesting to actually see more of what's down there i mean we already know like some things are actually down there but we don't know everything would be kind of cool hmm. the first one's like i constantly be paranoid of driving i know <laughs> it's not it's not for the faint of heart just fyi but still would you rather break your leg or break your arm I would rather break my arm just because I can still do shit. Like I, I, if I broke my leg, I, I'd have to stop for a while. I, I, I wouldn't be able to like move as quickly as I wanted to be. I would, I would have, ugh, I, <clears throat> I would feel more hindered if I had a broken leg than a broken arm. So I'll break my arm. It's still close, but at the same time, I'd rather actually, like, I'd rather have a broken arm than a broken leg. So. 
Would you rather only listen to bagpipe music or only listen to banjo music? Banjo. I think the banjo sounds a lot better than, like, uh, than most people actually give the credit for. Um, but, you know, that's just me. But bagpipes, oh my god. No, like, like half the time, it's 50-50 it's like when it comes down to bagpipe music. Either it sounds good or it sounds really, really bad and just like noise for a long time. So, yes, banjo music. Would you rather fight Spock or fight Kirk? I'd rather fight Kirk. Yeah, between the two, if I actually were to choose to actually fight between Spock and Kirk, I don't know. The thing is, like, it seems like Spock can really, like, hold his own, and he's cold as shit, so he wouldn't give, give a, a shit, like, because, it, like, he would clearly, it would clearly be, it would be clear to him that you're an enemy and you're going to go down, and he would do it without any problem. Like, Kirk, on the other hand, didn't he get his ass kicked a couple times by, by Spock? So, no, just, like, I'd rather actually fight against Kirk. No offense. Like, if I actually had a choice between actually fighting against, like, somebody who really can hold his own and another person that likes to fight with a big fucking mouth, I'd rather actually go against that dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour? Or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life. <sighs> I love food. That would be a, a damn shame. But I wouldn't have to worry about eating everything. Eating something every hour? Oh, God. Um. That means I wouldn't be able to actually. Oh wait, no, I can actually filter, filter feed. <laughs> I can, I can always have an IV in, so it wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I'm gonna survive without eating something every hour. Does that also just mean digesting something, or does like does something have to pass through my gullet to actually go down into my stomach? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with taste. Oh, God, this bothers me, though, because I love food, and food is so damn good. Oh. I'm going to go with that, because that one, like, unable to survive. Survival instinct. I'm sorry, I would just go with that. Oh, wow, the top comment. I like that one. If you couldn't taste anything, that would be awesome, because you could just eat as healthy as you wanted, without giving a fuck. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I do love food, but I would be a shit ton healthier if I didn't have to worry about the, the flavor of it. I Like the pizza and burgers and all the stuff that I love so much <laughs> would not be a temptation to me at all. You know, oh my God, like I wouldn't have to worry about that. I'd just walk up and say, hey, I'll just, I'll have this. You know, like, I'll, unable to taste it, like, I'll just, like, I'll have the one thing that's the shittiest thing in the world, but it's the healthiest thing for you, and not have to worry about a damn thing. It's kind of nice. That'd be kind of, all right, I'll give you that. This, all right, thank you, Matthew. Appreciate that. Would you rather always have a sore throat, or live with no fingers on preferred hand? No fingers. It didn't sound bad my sore throat was going to be. I think I have a moderately sore throat. Yeah, it's small. That's the thing, between the two, like, I, I'd rather actually just have a sore throat, but to live with no fingers on my preferred hand. God, I wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> All right, next <laughs> Would you rather have a natural childbirth or have an epidural? <laughs> if I was a female and I actually had a choice between actually having natural childbirth and have an epidural, I'm going straight epidural. Some people say natural childbirth. Like, I understand that completely. And the first, first person is like, I'm a guy. I understand that. But the thing is, like, for me, if I was going to, if I was giving birth, if I had got pregnant and I had to give birth, I would go straight up epidural. Because I don't want to feel that. Just, like, make it, make the pain go away. You know, I, that's all I really care about. Most, like, I, that's all I really care about. Like, I, I wouldn't want to feel all that. But, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Would you rather be dissolved feet first in sulfuric acid 
or have a mafia hit on your family. Mmm. Mmm. That's not cool, bro. Oh, dear God. Well, none of my family. Sorry. You dissolve feet first and severe acid. <sighs> I'm pretty sure if this is going to be a mafia reference, that if I have a mafia hit on my family, I'd be the mafia hit if I'm being dissolved feet first in sulfuric acid. So, uh, I don't want to say it, but at the same time, I want my family to be safe. So I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. That sounds painful as hell, but I'll take it. Would you rather have a real lightsaber or save a random African kid from starvation? Uh, yeah. No! You guys are terrible! <laughs> I really actually... I want to save somebody. If I actually had a chance to save somebody, I would save somebody. Ugh. Oh, and you're terrible. I'm not even reading that shit. No. Next one. Would you rather have huge arms and weak legs or have huge legs and weak arms? Skip. Let's get that. All right, so <laughs> this will be my final one. Oh my god, these 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 questions! I swear to God, they're they're god awful. Would you rather swim in a pool of poop or get your head stuck in an elephant's rear end? The passage of time is the only issue right there. <laughs> For how long are you stuck in the rear end? For how long do you have to swim in this random poof, like filled pool? Oh, dear God. Um, that doesn't sound good at all. I don't know, like you won't be able to breathe. So I'm gonna go with this one. Just because <clears throat> I would take all the necessary precautions. <laughs> to be 100% sanitary. And if you're telling me that I have to swim in this poo field monstrosity, then I'm going to be covered from head to toe with anything that can keep the poo off my body. <laughs> and I'm doing the, <laughs> I'm laying on my back and I'm just like pedaling as like, and just swimming <laughs> with whatever it is. Like, so I keep my mouth far away from that crap. No pun intended, but pun intended. <laughs> so, with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Dear God, man. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care now. <laughs> Bye.